Okay, everybody. Paperboy Trucker back at you. And we are approaching the Steel Dynamics plant in Butler, Indiana. We're probably less than a mile from it. I usually come in from the other direction up ahead, but not today. Okay. So this next left is the uh, entry lot where you sign in over the CB and then you'll come back out here to finish your securing and tarping. You see they got a sign here that says all trucks monitor channel 10. So what I'm going to do is pull up here towards the front and you go to channel 10 and you, you check in. She'll want to know your pickup number, your truck number, that you're with Maverick and the weight of your coil. So let me get parked here and we'll see if I can do that real quick. I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, everybody. Sorry I didn't get the camera going quick enough, but it took her about 30 minutes to call me in. I guess it caught the loading crew on uh, lunch break probably because it's, uh, oh, what is it here, 1240? Yeah, so I got here right about lunchtime, I'm thinking. Plus there's a big line of trucks here. So the way this works, now there's different loading areas at this place, but most of the time I load from this line right here. So the way this will work is I wait in this line, looks like I'm about six trucks back. And then as we make that right turn, we'll go into this warehouse that's on the right and get loaded in there. And they can fit like five or six trucks in there at a time. So it goes pretty quick. What you do is just get, get like one chain on it, you know, minimum securement and then go back out to the lot that we were just in and finish securing and tarping. So, with that said, I've got to put a long sleeve shirt on too. This place requires sleeves to be in the warehouse. So it says here that my, the width of my coil is 50 inches. So it's a uh, four feet two inches wide so it doesn't say how tall it is let's see Length. yeah it doesn't give me a height but I went ahead and set up for loading shotgun just kind of guessing that uh, it's gonna be a pretty good size coil and I want to be able to get my, you know, get it covered with one tarp. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm set up for shotgun. I'll show you more of that later. All right. See you in a bit. Try to put the front edge of it, even with the rubber mat. Please. All right. Here we go. Getting a coil. Yes, sir, the one on the floor, yeah. Sorry, I should have clarified that. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, let me get a couple of chains on there. And uh, then we pull back out to the front. All right, everybody. 
gotten loaded got two chains and one strap on and then they had us pull out they got a lot of trucks trying to load today busier than the last couple of times I've been here so anyway what we do now is we just pull out of here go back to the lot we started in finish securing tarp hit the road got a full line over here to the right. That'll probably take me about 45 minutes to finish securing and get it tarped. And I should have, I still should have a good four and a half hours of time left to drive which will work out about right I might can make it back into Illinois I'm in Butler Indiana at the time at this time all right so uh, what you do now is you just bypass the scale you don't have to scale out and we'll go back over here to the right into the uh, holding lot. Their process works a lot better than it did say a year ago. They used to have you park over here in this lot to the left. And you know it wasn't, you know, you had to back in, you're over there with the employees and their lot. This is much better. Now you come in, you just angle park, and they're usually pretty cool, pretty efficient. Had to wait a little bit today, but you know, that's how it goes. So I'm just gonna pull down here toward the end. So when I get finished, all I gotta do is zip right out the exit. And that'll be the end of that. Just, uh, I'll just get right in here. Maybe I'll get a little shade in here. All right, more later. Okay, everybody, I got it secured. I just wanted to show it to you before I start putting some tarps on it. All right, so loaded this shotgun so we have four chains crossed through the center padded edge protectors and I got over center binders on the front and then I got the uh, ratchet binders in the back also have a trip chain in the front okay using an over center binder right there all right let me move to the back here also have two straps over the top because we need six securements to secure 48,000 pounds. Okay guys, my camera was acting goofy when I was showing you how I secured this thing. I hope, to, hope that worked. But here it is after being tarped. Got a canvas tarp on top of it, you know, on top of the coil. Got a vinyl tarp as you can see. And you see that big patch right there? This is the first time I've used this tarp, and of course, it had a big old rip in it. <laughs> so, I got the trusty tarp repair tape out and fixed it real quick. Because where that is, that's going to catch a lot of wind and just tear even more. So, hopefully that'll hold it. So, here it is. Four cross chains. 
one chain in the front to stop uh, stop forward motion and two straps over the top of the coil here's the back it's a pretty pretty big coil my tarp just barely barely fit I might have had you know an, an inch or two extra all right there it is okay busy place today let me uh, send in my leaving shipper and hit the road